Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to RuneScape for Dummies. Today we are going to be going through the third wilderness boss on the channel. Uh, we've gone through RTO, we've gone through Calvarion, uh, and kind of loosely their you know, higher tiered versions of uh, Callisto and the other one. <laughs> uh, today we are going to be going through Spindle and loosely Venonatus as well because with these guides, they work the exact same way pretty much for the uh, mass version of the boss. So drops-wise, with um, Spindle, you've got the exact same drop table as Venonatus with a pet, the tre uh, Treasonous Ring, the Dragon Pickaxe, Dragon 2H, the Fang, and the Void Waker Gem. Now, the drop rates at Spindle are a lot higher, uh, as in, you know, you're not not as likely to get them uh, than at uh, Venonatus, for example, but you can um, solo uh, Spindle a, a bit easier. I mean, you can solo Venonatus as well, but it is a group boss um, because for Iron Men's sake, for example, if you were killing Venonatus with a group, uh, you would get your own drop um, as everyone else in the party would. But if you had someone crash you at Spindle, um, you would lose that drop. Now, that's enough about drops. How is my inventory looking? Um, so I I bring Belighted Super Restores with me. What I normally do is take three with me on my first trip, suss out the world if there's many PKs knocking about, um, and then come back with four on my second trip if it's quiet. Uh, we're just going to go with four this time around just so you can see how my gear and uh, inventory looks. I've got a stamina pot because we are going to need that during the fight because... There's an attack that does drain your run energy if you do get affected by it. I've then got super combat as well to keep our uh, our uh, stats topped up. I've then got some blighted food. I like taking anglers with me because I can eat what before I go in. So if I don't use any food on a kill, I've still got an inventory slot. Also, I would replace one of those with a looting bag if I had one. Uh, I don't because I got PK'd uh, since I last was in the wilderness. So I haven't got one back yet. Uh, and then I've just got a some uh, tick eat food. Uh, I've got a teleport out with the Royal Seed Pod, and I've also got Belighted Ancient Ice Sacks, which when on the Ancient Spellbook and you're in the wilderness, you can cast Ice Spells. It's going to be really handy when you've got the little spawns, the spindle spawns. Um, it just means you can take them out quicker and you can just dump a freeze on both of them and uh, carry on fighting the big spider. Now when we come to the gear setup, um, if you've seen my other two guides, you know that I... Keep it pretty basic. Uh, in those in those videos, even more basic. I just took my zombie axe, the helm, and the gloves. Uh, here, I do like to bring um, a really, really, really budget setup. But just in case a PK comes in, you've got some mage defense here with the black dehyde. So hopefully, uh, they're more likely to splash on you with the freezes or um, snares and whatever. And uh, yeah, I mean. It, Spindle also is weak to crush, um, so yeah, that's why I've got my zombie axe. Works really bloody well. It's cheap, um, and uh, it's protected if you were to die. Uh, it does the job. It does the. Uh, it is a spider slayer, dare I say. Uh, you've then got the explorer's ring, which not only with the prayer bonus, but you can recharge your run energy with it, which is really, really bloody handy. We are going to be running through some dragons. Uh, you don't have to bring an anti-dragon shield, but I bring it because it's cheap. You can easily buy it back, and it's not too bad as well. Um, we're going to be praying, though. We're going to be prayed up, uh, so you don't really need to worry about taking damage. Obviously, you've got other options here with, uh, I don't know, the um, cudgel and bludgeon and the wilderness weapon as well. I can't remember the, the flail thing, chain flail, whatever it is. You know what I mean, um, as an option as well. But, um, yeah. A bit overkill. Um, you're just inviting more PKs to come and attack you because you look like a bigger bounty because you've got more shiny weapons, <laughs> pretty much. But anyway, that's enough talking about gear setups and talking about inventories and all that fun stuff. How do we actually get there? So we're currently at Ferox Enclave, which is located here in the wilderness. And uh, we are going to be running north. Here you've got the RTO one. Here you've got the... Uh, Calvarium one and just north and in these ruins you have the web chasm which is where Spindle is located so we're going to be running north and then slightly northeast and to the dungeon sign just over here and if you were to go to the Venonatus one it is this one here Silk Chasm 
with a little bit further out, deeper wieldy, spooky, spooky. All right, so a quick go over of the um, account, me uh, account mechanics, attack mechanics that um, Spindle will do. So the first four attacks that uh, Spindle will do, if you're not in melee range, which we will be, uh, are range attacks. Uh, the first attack, um, they'll also spawn the mini spiders as well, which we'll get to see in, in a kill example. Uh, but after those four attacks, Spindle will then relocate within the cavern or within the uh, catacomb. It's not catacomb. You, cave. Let's go with cave. Uh, <laughs> uh, then we'll do four more attacks that will be range. So while you are running over, we're going to switch to defend, uh, protect from range on that. Um, four attacks there, whether that be range or melee. For us, it's going to be melee. Uh, then it moves again and it's going to do four more attacks. This time, the uh, all four attacks are going to be mage attacks. On the third attack, uh, is going to spawn the web spawn, which is what I mentioned earlier about the attack that will drain your run energy and all that fun stuff. So, four mage attacks. Third one being the web spawn. Uh, then moves again. Four mage attacks. So, the long and short of it: four range attacks, move. Four range attacks, move. Four major attacks, move, four major attacks, and then it rinse and repeats. But we'll go through all of this in a kill example, uh, and yeah, I'll show you how you can dodge certain things and make sure that you're praying the right thing in the right moment and all of that good stuff. But anyway, let's head on over. Okay, right, so we're going to pass through our barrier. I do see we've seen people whipping about around here with skulls above the red, which is always a little bit nervy. Oh, don't get nervous, but sometimes I get a little bit oi. Uh, so we're going to run north, and we'll see our lovely friends, the green dragons. And there's normally some bots around there who are farming green dragons because, you know, oh, there's someone with a key. Uh, too lower level for me to worry. Uh, yeah, so we're going to run northeast into this cave entrance over here. Now, if you have over 25 KC, uh, you can actually peek this cave entrance. We can see someone's got their scout out here, so we're not gonna drop in here. I'm gonna go and find a world, and uh, yeah, then we'll get started. When you are picking a world as well, um, it's very tempting to go for the higher level worlds. Don't, because uh, that's normally where peak has will go first. Uh, so anyway, we can peek our entrance. We can see there's activity inside, so we're gonna hop again. And we can peek. Activity inside. <laughs> See how this is going to go. Blimey, I had to go through about 20 different worlds there anyway. We are going to pop up. We're going to eat our angler. And we are going to play range. We're going to play piety. And we are going to enter our cave. Spin is going to drop down. And you can jump in and attack. Switch to protect from melee. And away we go. Right, these spawners have come, so we're going to cast our Ice Barrage. Freeze both of them. They will drain your prayer while they're attacking you. Uh, then we can see that it's done its four attacks, and now it's going to move on over. Three. Is that four? Yeah, there we go. Now it's moving. So if we weren't close to Spindle, then we would be switching to Protect from Magic. But because we are hugging quite tightly, we, uh, we don't need to worry. And there is that attack that's really bloody annoying. We want to pray mage because we're moving away. You can see that's the mage attack. The range attack is like a green splodge. Um, but yeah, if you stand in this, it's going to drain your run energy. Like, it does try and drag you into it, which is really fucking annoying. Uh, and we're going to dump our ice barrage. Yep, see, it's going to drag us back in here. I think we're on a range phase. Yeah, there we go. Switch back to protect from melee. And start attacking again. See what I mean about needing uh, stamina pots as well? There's a whole lot of running around. Um, and I believe we're on the third phase of Mage Attack. So she will dump this sticky attack randomly as well, uh, which is really, really handy. I really love that attack. It's, it's probably the worst attack here. You see my run it, we're on a range, so let's play range, get close to her. Uh, sometimes they don't stack up nicely, so you need to move a little bit. And because spindle's moving, pray range, get back up close, and pray protect from melee again. Alright, so we're running away. 
There we go. Switch our prayers. And get attacking. And we can see it's coming in to so run the other side of her. And she's going to try and lure us in. I think we're on a mage phase at the moment. Have I guessed it right? I have indeed. Look at that. Oh, what a gamer. <laughs> and then we just dump back on. Now, you see, it's pretty easy. It's not the hardest fight in the world. There's just a lot of mechanics to learn early on. But you can kind of... Where we're using the melee method, we are really skipping out on a lot of the mechanics that um, would cause us damage, like the mage and range attacks. So... You're not really got to worry about those because we are sticking close. It's only a small cave. Um, and if this was at Venonatis, it scales the number of spawners based on how many people in the room. And if you've got about 10 people in there, 20 of those little fuckers spawn at the same time and it's chaos. <laughs> but anyway, there is our first kill. We've got ourselves some gold ore, some blighted super stores, which we love to see. Um, and we're going again. Let's quickly pray range. I'm going to quickly eat some food because I do want to take these because they are handy to have. Uh, jump on the boss. We're going to drop our ice barrage. There we go. Um, because we are dragged away, we're going to switch to our prey me me uh, melee. And now I believe this is probably going to be on the mage phase. So if I step away, yeah, we're still on mage phase. Just to give you an idea of how to count the attacks and everything. Because it does get a little bit chaotic. Especially when it's like the second kill of a trip. Uh, you're a bit out of position because you're picking up loot and all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, don't don't feel it daunting. <laughs> it's very easy to correct yourself here. Uh, let me see our spawns are coming in. So let's whack them with an ice. Um, I think we're on a range. Yeah, we are. Look, there's the range attack. There we go. Switch back to prep for melee. Sip a bit of prayer. I've got a sip of stamina pot as well. And just club it to death, really, you know? We are on... Yeah, we're on crush. I think we're on... Oh, we're on mage. There we go. And yeah, so Spin was going to keep running around like a dickhead. Fair enough. If I was getting lamped by a zombie axe, I probably would run, ar run away as well. Uh, I think we're on a mage phase now. Nope, we're on a range. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't always work guessing, but yeah. It, like I said, that cycle does stay pretty consistent um, when it rolls through. It's just when the... Uh, the special attacks, which is the spawns and the web, well, well, the spider spawn and the web spawn, which speak the devil, there's one. Um, they do kind of change sometimes. Look at that. You've guessed that it's been a magic attack as well. Uh, and yeah, obviously, if you had a um, looting bag as well, it'd make the whole uh, picking up your um, loot easier because you just have your bag open and you dump everything in there and all that fun stuff um but this place does shit out resources as well so you can you know continue your trips because it drops food it drops prayer pots was in restores and um yeah it means that you can extend your trips which is always nice but we are coming up to the end of this kill there's the spawn coming in and let it drag she tries to drag you through it evil Evil. <laughs> and go on. Bosh. There we go. There is the end of the kill. That is us done. And there we go. See, food, diamond bolts E. Where's my looting bag? Who knows? But anyway, when you are thinking about heading off, you've done all your kills for the trip, or you've got a PK coming, or something like that. So you need to go. You need a piss or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what you can always do is either run back the way we came. You can exit out of here through the little exit over here. Um, or you can just use your C pod because we're low enough wieldy. We're below level 30 wieldy, which means you can use that to teleport out. Obviously, if you've not been teleblocked. Um, yeah, that's the uh, quickest way to uh, get back to a bank is just to whack that C pod and um, get on out of here. But I hope you guys have found this video useful. If you have and you're new around here, please do consider subscribing. I make loads of guides like this where it's just going through the basics of a boss or a um, method of skilling in-game and all different sorts of things. So go and check out the playlist. Uh, drop a like as well. And um, yeah, let me know down in the comment section down below if there's any uh, content that you'd like me to make a guide on. And um, yeah, I'll definitely look into getting that sorted out for you. But anyway... 
Thank you for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.